Well, let's get you caught up on the uh, latest snowpack numbers and there's not a huge change, even though we've had some snow. These are not uh, high moisture producing storms coming in. Here's our Morris Creek Summit snow tell site measuring the snow. This season, this black line going up like this was all the snow in December. Then we flatlined, had a couple inches in Boise and a little in the mountains is during this day here. Still mostly flatlined, little bumps. That's really about it. And when you take a look at the numbers, we should see about 21 inches of water content or 21.7 in the snow. If you melted it down, we're still holding at 18.9 and that's 87% of average. So we've dropped below the average line here. Now we need to get this to climb to at least this 31 so we can get close to where we were or where we should be for this time of year. So we had a lot of snow late December, early January and almost nothing here for a good month or longer. And that's why it is likely we'll start to see a bump in this precipitation. And I do see a little bit more moisture that is headed in our direction. Snowpack numbers when you put all those sites together for the Boise Basin, 92% of average, not terrible, but it it's not as good as 130% of average where we were when all that heavy snow had come in. And the Waihe and Bruno basins are not doing very well right now, only in the 70s and the Wood River Valley still looking good, although the drought may be expanded because of the dry weather we've had over February. So a little light snow shower activity just to the north near Brundage Mountain. It's been off and on throughout the day. And then another surge of energy here right up here. This is going to come down overnight rapidly and go straight north to south here and even bring some snow showers into the Treasure Valley. So overnight tonight into tomorrow, we'll see the energy coming in from that system right up in here. This moisture here that will drop down. The storm we had this morning has gone to the south and will slide off in this direction. High pressure is offshore here, allowing storms to go north of it. So where's our next storm? We're going to go way out into the Pacific here and I'll step off to the side because this classic comma right here. This is the system for Sunday that will travel to the north over that ridge of high pressure and then it will dip on in and that one could bring a nice shot of moisture to central Idaho potentially two to four inches in the McCall area and in the Treasure Valley, mostly rain showers mixing with a couple of snow showers and that's about it. But tomorrow morning, I don't want you to be surprised. Snow showers may be blowing through the ears. You're heading off to work or school tomorrow morning uh, and I don't expect slick spots, but you can be surprised up in the foothills. You get just enough of a dusting there that can create that. So there's a slight potential for that tomorrow morning. Then we'll break into a lot of sunshine. The temperatures will shoot into the 40s and we'll have the wind coming back tomorrow tomorrow like we did today uh, and eventually that wind's going to go away. But here's where we are with the wind. This is what we had for the day today. Uh, that's actually tomorrow. Uh, this is tomorrow right here. It looks the same, doesn't it? So breezy conditions again tomorrow, but notice Thursday. No color on the map. That's the strong wind will be gone. So Thursday, Friday and Saturday are looking really, really nice. Snow in the central mountains. Not a lot. Bogus get an inch out of this. Brundage and Tamarack maybe a couple of inches. While the McCall area forecast looks like this. Snow showers tomorrow morning. There'll be some slick roads tomorrow morning in the McCall area with maybe a quarter to a half inch, two to four inches potentially by Sunday morning. Something to think about. And there you see the widespread areas of snow through the 10 day forecast. It's mostly up north, north central Idaho, but at least we're getting a couple of storms in the ski resorts. That little bit of snow tomorrow. This is the nice snow. If you ski on Sunday, you'll have the snow coming down while it occurs somewhere between six and 10 inches of snow over the next 10 days. That would certainly be good news. Here's the extended forecast now and you see for tomorrow. After some early morning rain and snow showers, temperatures are going to shoot up into the 40s to near 50 uh, like today, but it's going to be breezy out like today as well. Quick check of that extended forecast, that 20% chance of moisture tomorrow morning, still near 50. What I like is Thursday, Friday and Saturday, the wind goes light. The temperatures shoot into the 50s and I mean it will be spectacular to get outside and then rain showers I think are pretty likely during the day on Sunday.